What's up guys, today we have Jimmy Kimmel to voice Batman in Teen Titans Go movie. Teen Titans Go to the movies. Has found its Batman, late night host Jimmy Kimmel. The movie, which is a spin-off of the somewhat controversial Teen Titans Go. Animated series, isn't lacking for star talent. Teen Titans Go to the movies. Is the first time that Nicolas Cage will finally be able to play Superman, officially. The actor and longtime Kal El fan will be voicing the Man of Steel in the movie. Cage and Kimmel aren't the only recognizable names in Teen Titans Go to the movies. Another cinematic Batman is among the cast. Will Arnett, who played Lego Batman, is in the movie. He's not playing Batman though, instead Arnett will be stepping into the role of villain Deathstroke. Teen Titans Go to the movies. Is aiming to be a parody of everything superhero. However, it appears all that mockery isn't coming without a certain level of respect, or at least knowledge, of what has preceded it. It was Jimmy Kimmel himself who made the announcement of his casting on Twitter. Kimmel didn't just share the news though. He took an opportunity to take a, harmless, shot at Will Arnett. Kimmel, who is friends with Arnett called the Arrested Development Actors version of Batman, old news. Then the late night host shared a new trailer for Teen Titans Go! To the movies that shows off his iteration of Batman in its very last seconds. Batman shows up at the 2.32 mark. The trailer only gives the slightest glimpse of what Batman will look and sound like in the movie. It also appears that at one point in the movie Batman, along with most of the other DC heroes, will be mind-controlled by Deathstroke. Even though that sounds like potentially serious material, Teen Titans go to the movies. Will be just as wacky and irreverent as the TV series on which it's based. After all, Kimmel's Batman appearance in the trailer consists of nothing but puns about Batman movie titles. This causes Starfire to quip that Batman can't be stopped. Truer words have never been spoken about the caped crusader. Fans might not want to expect too much screen time from Kimmel's Batman. While Batman has appeared in Teen Titans Go! Something that never happened in the original Teen Titans cartoon, one of the recurring jokes of Batman's appearances is that he's been completely nonverbal. Kimmel will be the first actor to voice Batman in the Teen Titans Go! Universe. Teen Titans Go to the movies probably won't suddenly turn Batman into a chatterbox, even if Kimmel is playing him. There's also every indication that the focus of Teen Titans Go! will be the Titans themselves and no one else. Unlike the TV series, which tends to be a sequence of barely connected skits involving the characters, Teen Titans Go! appears to have more of a plot. The movie will see all the Titans, but specifically Robin, try to be taken seriously as heroes. This involves them finding their own villain, Deathstroke, battling him and trying to gain some fame along the way. One of the frequent criticisms of Teen Titans Go! has been its sense of humor, a general sense of hyperactiveness and juvenile sensibilities. Teen Titans Go to the movies. Having a more defined plot than the average Teen Titans Go! episode probably won't sway some of the most ardent detractors, but it does at the very least seem like an effort to appeal to new fans. Key Release Dates Teen Titans Go! to the movie's release date, July 27, 2018. Be sure to like and subscribe.